my topic obviously going to be on uh, how do we lead in times of covid or in times of uka and, and then beyond right so if i can have my slides i will go straight addressing this okay um i was like uh, last past three days i was thinking about how to make this very difficult subject uh, sound simple to the listeners uh, because leadership itself is a very complex complicated topic uh, but anyway then i i come across about the word survival uh, managing the, the challenges that we are facing now and then thriving in and even uh, doing great stuff out of these uh, challenges so uh, so then i remembered uh, when we were young in uh, kampung our hometown villages uh, we boys used to go to the river and and swim and many times the new members of our our gang <laughs> yeah we used to uh, learn how to float how to swim how to uh, dive and all those stuff in the river right so uh, i wanted to use that analogy of uh, swimming in the river uh, compared to what we are facing in our real life now okay so if you are swimming in the river not in the lake or swimming pool uh, these words uh, like drowning floating swimming becomes uh, relevant uh, you don't want to drown you need to learn how to float and then you need to learn how to swim uh that that is the st- simple three things you need uh stay afloat and swim to survive uh in this river of uh wuka uh or the covid situation we must learn how to survive uh to float uh, basically uh if somebody is already surviving you can follow them uh, somebody know how to float follow them but we are not going to talk about just how to follow we are talking about how to manage and then lead right so swimming against the current or with the current is is what is all about so i somehow fe- felt strongly that if you follow the current you swim follow the current of the river you are just managing yeah, yeah. uh you are managing uh the, the journey with the current of the river but if you go against the river against the current of the river that's where uh, i uh, i think it is insane so if you look at the slide the next slide okay uh you can see i have uh, uh based on the current situation i have come up with this uh, differences between managing and leadership uh where if you are just managing uh not only survi- uh, floating or surviving you are going with the flow uh you just have to do your job uh and and it's your duty so to survive your job uh you just have to continue doing following the sops uh addressing immediate needs short term objectives uh and uh you don't think about long term strategies uh what our vision for next 5 years because you are going through uh, a situation now and then implement uh things based on the system uh, we already have uh, you make sure you control and monitor everything you need real time data and uh, most of the time just like what dark said just now there are many proven techniques and tools available a proven solution use those and avoid risk you minimize risk because you really do not know uh what is next is the uh, ambiguity and, and uncertainty but when it comes to leadership you want to go against the current you you just don't want to uh follow everyone else because following everyone else is is like following the 90% you want to be novel you want to be different you want to be innovative so you have to take the path of leadership which is against the current right so here you need something more than just managing uh contacts you need to be very purposeful uh and the purpose usually is you're helping others do things for a bigger uh, target audience not just yourself need and and need to be not 
short term oriented but future oriented long term directions and then uh, you need to change you need to innovate innovate and and you need to try a lot of new solutions and and ideas that's where uh, the agile or the sprint projects come in and then you need to engage and inspire your people you have to work with your team you need to explore and experiment you need to probe you need to uh, try things that nobody have thought of kind of thing so your past knowledge your mba may not support you uh, you have to experiment a lot of new things and that comes a lot of risk if you go for the next slide so you can see leading and managing uh, can be two different thing and looking at the landscape now uh, we are not just going to go against the current of the normal river or just flow and go with the current because the river is now having a uh, flood river is flooded so there is a huge torrent uh, coming down the river and it creates kind of like a storm right why i call it a wuka storm uh, because all those things that we talk about volatility uncertainty complexity and ambiguity is on steroid now why because we don't have one crisis we are facing the world now we have three different kind of crises number one we we already last 5 to 10 years uh, we already faced what we call the ir 4.0 revolution uh, it's a industry and technology revolution we all know about it IR 4.0. Number two, we had military and social, uh, sorry, military and economic geopolitical competition. Uh, not only between U.S. and China, we have uh, India coming in, Russia, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka, Middle East. Everyone is this in competition, and and we almost have World War Three started kind of thing. And then the third part, we have this Corona. virus a covid-19 pandemic is a global pandemic uh causing economic collapse right uh, and uh, we have a negative negative 3% uh gdp shrunk globally so all three happen at the same time is a perfect storm perfect storm so this is a moment of uh, truth uh are you going to float are you going to swim or are you going to do something so different to survive are you going to just survive manage the situation or are you going to lead that's the question but then there is another problem when your life is threatened with this kind of pandemic uh your psychologically you will go into a kind of a survival instinct we call it self preservation Uh, where fear normally paralyzes the brain and uh, you cannot think you cannot plan and and you will not act normal it's a neural hijack situation so when 7.7 billion people go into this fear paralysis how do you lead them how do you manage uh, how do you yourself individually try to manage or lead so uh, this is why uh, leading in the time of war crisis is very challenging individually or even to lead others so uh in the studies of management we have many situation where we call it borderline condition where uh, you can see a left and right in this normal distribution curve uh, you have this uh, 10% condition where one is crisis on the right is if your organization or your environment you, you're trying to lead towards uh, greatness this is where leadership comes in so leadership is very much needed on the 10% condition or borderline condition and uh, i would like to talk about how do you manage how do you lead in crisis situation right right next slide please okay, okay. so on the wuka theoretically uh, this is very much a textbook kind of answer theoretically if it's volatile like a storm uh, you do not know what will happen next you basically use the agile strategy uh, be adaptive be flexible try everything a boost change uh, changes or, or pivot 
you must love to be what dark says you must embrace change uh, think out of box innovate yeah think out of box uh, for uncertainty uh, let's say in the dark you do not know uh, how to predict next uh, what is you see past results cannot be used to predict uh, future because of uncertainty so, but then we have ai we have big data we can learn quickly learn all the time continuous learning helps and then you need to probe and analyze and continuously take this uh, learning empower people to learn empower your team and empower uh, learning by the team uh, when everybody learn quickly uh, and and together you can actually uh, manage this uncertainty a little bit better and complexity uh, is very much like human relationship you you need to um devolve don't get too involved because that will complicate things more uh let go of control uh, say admit just like what dark says admit that you don't know get people uh involved inspire them to get engaged to solve the pro- problem together uh, simplify things and use your wisdom or gut feeling this is where the people factor comes in eq yeah, yeah. a leadership has a lot to do with heart not not just the brain uh, or rational thinking so complexity can be managed with human relationship especially on emotional intelligence and finally ambiguous ambiguity is uh, is where you need to act on what is known uh, and gain new knowledge research uh, the customers knows best frontline people know a lot of things they are on the ground uh empower them right this is normal uh, textbook answer uh and then uh, we have all these tools and technologies available internet of things iot generational difference of gen y millennials they are clever they are golden generation who can solve many of these new pro- problems and solutions and then uh, there's a lot of smart things happening now so embrace some of this new technology 5g and all that e-commerce platform is it's a great uh business model uh platform revolution is coming and it's um, is sweeping across the globe so we need to embrace e-commerce and then platform revolution for it social media and gamification is a way to go uh cloud computing uh, and big data and ai all this comes in right so these are some of the technology and tools that we can go in next please next slide please okay so here i have uh, differentiated uh, how do you manage to survive on lead for transformation uh, so i've talked about this in a previous uh, webinar but let me quickly say this uh, basically if you are in a storm uh, or in in a uh, spinning wheel uh, the center of the wheel or the eye of the storm usually is very calm and and uh, that that is where i i think we need to uh center ourselves stay calm slow down don't rush into the storm and uh, in fact some businesses i will i will advise you to hibernate don't 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 do anything now don't spend your little money left uh wait for the storm to pass that can help you to survive or cut costs minimize minimalistic approaches to whatever you're doing uh, and reduce workforce Re- uh, be lean and mean in in the way you approach your business uh, this will help you you know uh, reduce and and, uh, and and minimize then come together as companies in, in the industry uh, uh, and and then support each other in the industry uh like I, i see the airline industry and the uh, tourism industry uh all the hotels are closing down they are up for sale it's a time that you come together in, in your associations and, and explore how uh, you can work together you now when we are faced with a common enemy or problem the whole village should come together and and find a better solutions together and then uh um increase efficiency to increase your margin uh and then use expand your reach or your market uh, use online online marketing if you can um th- sometimes it works yeah so that's some of the manage, managing for survival 
But uh, when it comes to leading for transformation, uh, this is where you need to be a bit more daring, courageous, to embrace all possibilities, uh, understand the future. The future is not going to be the same that we used to know. Uh, and then uh, read this book, Platform Revolution. So because everything going on platform, just like this webinar now, right? And embrace new technologies like AI, IoT, big data, blockchain, machine learning, name it. There's thousands and thousands of things, the new things which is uh, already in the market. Go global. Uh, don't look into your past or current customers. That's not enough. Uh, reach out to other countries and other regions. Uh, go across country, uh, across industry, sorry, and, and uh, work with other industries and how we can... Uh, find new market, yeah, collaborate with them. Take this opportunity to reinvent your business. Uh, last 20 years, you may have done something very successfully. This is a time, this is an opportunity to uh, look into other uh, ways of doing the same business or new business. And create own rules, don't play by the rules uh, because those old rules are changing by itself. So create a new world and, and uh, explore. Take this opportunity, uh, slow down, and reinvent, right? So the, my final slide will be, yep. Can I have the start, final slide? Okay, in a nutshell, uh, just imagine this uh, COVID situation is like a flood storm where we need to avoid drowning, stay afloat and, and learn to swim. Either you go with the current or against the current. So surviving is important, float, manage, uh, that is equal to not leadership, that's followership. Uh, if you want to lead, swim, swimming against the current, uh, you want to explore new opportunities, number one, cl have clear purpose, uh, not direction or targets. Have clear purpose. So make your business more meaningful. Uh, think long term, actually. Yeah, these changes that you're making now must be long term, next five years, 10 years, to even 20 years. Uh, Great thing for greater good uh, of the world, the people, the community, uh, and the industry. Uh, don't be selfish uh, because people uh, who are selfish cannot lead because nobody will follow. You need a team. You need people to, to actually inspired by your leadership. So think about for greater good and uh, don't follow. Lead. How do you do that? Challenge the status quo. And uh, courage is important. Uh, please reduce your fear about what's happening or what is coming. Uh, have courage to take risk and embrace the opportunity that comes with the risk. And try new things, be more innovative, uh, be novel, explore new ideas. Sometimes, as Doug said, 80% will fail, 90% will fail. But those who succeed, those ideas will be billion dollar ideas. And finally, you will emerge victorious out of this storm and this too shall pass for those who are struggling and suffering and uh, victory is sure in the horizon. Okay, I'd like to thank Gopal and Gopio for giving me this opportunity. Uh, we shall survive and thrive. Thank you. <laughs>